back again to the channel and i'm back again for another video another diy installation on this uh 10th gen honda civic hatchback uh, sport touring and today i'm gonna show you on how to uh side mount your plate number and how to make a bumper plugs so if you want to save some money on side plate mount and bumper plugs then you are definitely watching the right video i've checked online some of the side plates that you can buy i the most expensive that i saw was parent is like 80 90 dollars and the cheapest that i saw is an amazon for like 40 dollars i like why would you spend that much money for just uh, relocating your side plate i mean you could just buy uh, in home depot for just maybe like seven eight dollars worth of washers and uh, toggle bolts and also for the bumper plugs i check online it's also it will cost you an arm and a leg no i'm just kidding i mean 35 dollars for just bumper plugs which is basically a fastener cup like that's just less than two dollars if you buy a walmart i actually just went to walmart that's the truth because here it is i bought it for like one dollar fifty cents plus tax so it's like 175 180 i don't know i did not check the receipt but basically all my expenses was just less than ten dollars with the fastener cup for the bumper plugs and some bolts and screws so you won't have to spend a fortune for just you know relocating your side plate this installation will be done in maybe uh, less than 10 minutes the only thing that will just take time is the waiting time for the paint to dry and i'm not gonna waste much of your time uh let's do this plate relocation but before that i will have to prep first this uh bumper plugs which means i have to uh, sand it and paint it okay let's do this here are the materials needed for this bumper plug preparation okay uh we have a fastener caps you can actually purchase this one on Walmart for less than two dollars. And sandpapers, I got here 120 grit and 400 for a smooth finish. And a spray paint. I have this one like months ago when I uh, installed the Type R wings, or you can actually use the touch up pen because this is the most compatible color for the car. But I'm still gonna use the spray paint. The color is almost identical anyway and it's up to you which one you prefer Like I've said earlier, you can use spray paint or a touch-up pen, whichever works for you. While waiting for it to dry, we will do the side plate relocation. I already removed my plate number. This is how it looks. And I'm going to use the plate holder that came off the car and relocate the plate holder from the middle to the passenger side near the fog light.
Here's the materials needed. Two quarter inch flat washers, one and one quarter inch by quarter fender washers, one piece toggle bolt 316 by 3 inches, and one half inch steel spacer. Assemble it like this. Machine screw first, then quarter inch washer, then insert it at the plate holder, then quarter inch washer, then steel spacer, then the washer, then the lock. Just follow the same step on the other hole. One thing that is good in this relocation is I don't have to drill a hole. I'm just going to utilize the holes of the bumper garnish. I put a zip strap in the middle for more support. The last step is to cover the bumper holes. The fastener cap is already dry and it's good to go for installation. So this is the finished product for this installation. It's actually worth less than $10 for this uh, side mount relocation and for bumper plugs. And like I've said earlier, you don't have to spend a lot for this modification. You just have to be creative. And that is all for this installation. I love how it turns out. It makes actually the car looks more aggressive. And if you're going to ask me if it's legal to have it on the side and not in the middle of the bumper, I checked online about the Busy Motor uh, Vehicle Act. You have to display both plate numbers, one in the front and one at the back. And if you are issued two plate numbers, but actually they didn't state that it should be at the middle of your front bumper. So logically, it's legal. I have seen hundreds of times also, some drivers place it on top of their dash. and. Uh, I just want to stress out that I'm talking about here in BC, Canada. It could be different on other provinces or other states. And that is all for today. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Your support goes a long way. And before I forget, every Monday I'll post a new video. And again, that is all for today. See you on our next video. Thank you.